Unify Access is Unify's subscription-free, secure, and scalable door access platform. Unify offers hardware that can make any door compatible with Unify Access. So in this video, we'll take a look at how to install the magnetic lock and the electric lock. Installing the magnetic lock will depend on the type and style of your door. Identify the door material, the door direction, and inspect the width of the door frame structure to determine which mounting option is right for you. For an outward swinging door, we recommend using the flush mount bracket method. For an outward swinging door with a narrow door frame, we recommend using the L-bracket method. For an outward swinging glass door, we recommend the U-bracket method. And for an inward swinging door, we recommend using the LZ bracket method. All bracket types are available in the magnetic lock kit. You will need these tools for installation. First, let's look at installing the magnetic lock for an outward swinging door using the flush mount bracket method. On the inside of the doorway, use the template to mark the door. Drill the pin holes and bolt hole for the armature plate into the door. Hammer the pins into the armature plate and mount the armature plate to the door. Line up the magnetic unit to the armature plate and mark the door frame. Use the flush mount bracket to mark the door frame and drill the holes. Install the flush mount bracket onto the door frame. Finally, mount the magnetic lock to the flush mount bracket. If the bottom of the door frame is too narrow to fit the magnetic lock, use the L bracket method. On the inside of the doorway, use the template to mark the door. Drill the pin holes and bolt hole for the armature plate into the door. Hammer the pins into the armature plate and mount the armature plate to the door. Choose the best location for the magnetic unit on the L bracket based on the depth of your door frame and install. Line up the magnetic unit and L bracket to the armature plate and mark the door frame. If needed, drill the hole for cable routing and install the L bracket. Now let's look at how to install the magnetic lock on an outward swinging glass door using the U bracket method. Hang the U-bracket on the door with the pressure plate between the door and the screw holes. The screw holes should face the inside of the door. Fasten the U-bracket to the glass door. Hammer the pins into the armature plate and mount the armature plate to the U-bracket. Now determine which bracket you will use to mount the magnetic unit. If there is enough room in the door frame, use the flush mount bracket. If not, use the L-bracket. Line up the magnetic unit to the U-bracket and armature plate and mark the door frame. Use the flush mount bracket to mark the door frame and drill the holes. Finally, install the bracket and mount the magnetic unit onto the bracket. Now let's look at using the LZ bracket method for an inward swinging door. Install the L bracket onto the door frame and the magnetic lock onto the L bracket. Set up the Z bracket by making sure that the grooved sides of the plates face each other and attach them together. Hammer the pins into the armature plate and mount the armature plate to the Z bracket and mount it to the door. With the magnetic lock properly installed, connecting it to your Unify Access deployment is easy. Simply connect the wires as shown to the Unify Access hub up to 500 feet away with proper 18 gauge wiring. Connect the Reader Pro, Reader Lite, and an optional camera. And connect the Unify Access hub to a switch controlled by a Unify OS console. 
Installing the electric lock will depend on the material of your door frame and the size of the lock. So we provided four different templates to follow for easy installation. Determine if the door frame is wood or metal and whether the lock is small or large to pick the template that is right for you. First, let's look at installing the electric lock with a small or large faceplate onto a wooden door frame. You will need these tools for installation. Choose the appropriate size and peel off the template. Using the latch bolt or pre-existing cutouts as a guide, attach the template to the door frame with the fold facing the inside of the doorway. Using a router, recess the dark gray area of the template to a depth of 1 and 7 16 of an inch. The mid gray area to a depth of 7 16 of an inch. And the light gray area to a depth of 1 8 of an inch. Drill a hole in the recessed area of the door frame for wiring. Finally, using the appropriate faceplate, mount the lock into the recessed area of the frame. Now let's look at installing the electric lock with a small or large faceplate onto a metal door frame. You will need these tools for installation. Choose the appropriate size and peel off the template. Using the latch bolt or pre-existing cutouts as a guide, attach the template to the door frame with the fold facing the inside of the doorway. Drill out the four corners and use the angle grinder to cut out a hole using the gray area of the template as a guide. Drill out the last two holes and remove the leftover pieces of the template. Install the inserts on the inside of the hole. Finally, using the appropriate faceplate, attach the lock to the inserts. With the electric lock properly installed, simply connect the wires as shown to the Unify Access Hub up to 500 feet away with proper 18-gauge wiring. Connect the Reader Pro, Reader Lite, and an optional camera. And connect the Unify Access Hub to a switch controlled by a Unify OS console. Unify Access has everything you need for a seamless, easy-to-install door access solution. Ubiquity. Rethinking IT.